More than a year into the Trump administration, senior positions at the State Department and high profile ambassador posts remain vacant. Though last week, as Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell tried to initiate a vote on the president's choice as ambassador to Germany, Rick Grinnell, Democratic Senator Jeff Merkley objected. I cannot, in good faith, support a nominee who has a lengthy track record of tweets attacking both prominent Democratic and prominent Republican women. Grinnell has since apologized for tweets and comments he said were intended to be funny, and he says he regrets that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In October, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee cleared his nomination. It's a surreal environment up there where the people who profess to care the most about diplomacy, um, often Democrats, are holding up the most qualified would-be diplomats. Republicans also point out the growing importance of the relationship with Germany. The United States is negotiating with the Germans and other Europeans to change their policies towards Iran. Without an agreement, President Trump says he's withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal. Germany right now is at a very important crossroads. You have Merkel in her final term, a coalition there that involves left-wing elements where we really want to be pushing them away from their worst instincts. If confirmed, Grinnell would also be the highest profile openly gay official in the Trump administration. He served as the U.S. spokesman at the United Nations during the Bush administration. Though even as Democrats slow Grinnell's confirmation, they point out the administration still has no nominees for other significant State Department positions. Beyond Germany, about 40 ambassador jobs remain officially vacant, with no pending nominee for South Korea, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Egypt, Cuba, and the European Union. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson frequently argued with the White House over staffing. He's gone now, and it's unclear if his successor, CIA Director Mike Pompeo, if the Senate confirms him, will find better success finding nominees.